A huge thank you to our channel member, Nabil Games. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. It's all good. We're back. It's fine. Yes. <clears throat> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, just before we go into the main event sort of thing, our little tribute there to uh, DJ Casper. I will probably get copyright struck for that. But it was um, much needed, I think. Much needed as a little nice nice little tribute to uh, to DJ Casper who, uh, who who died a few days ago. Many people's childhoods, I saw the comments coming in uh, as it was being played. Lots of people couldn't believe I was playing it and uh, Lots of people saying about memories and things like that. I remember school discos, uh, and uh, and and having to uh, sort of have that song on, and you know, you get forced onto the dance floor, especially at weddings and everything else to 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 go for it. So if you if you're joining now and you've missed the start of the show, unlucky. I'm not playing it again. <laughs> not playing it again. But uh, but yes. Anyway, so a very good evening, a very warm welcome from. Hopefully, it should be decent enough. There we go. There you go. Uh, warm welcome from Madrid Barajas Airport. We have got a short hop over to Ibiza today. However, the reason we are starting so soon is because I tested 787 and you're looking at about 45 minutes to an hour of full prep time. And if things are going to go the way I think they're going to go, we are going to be on the ground for about an hour loading and sort the aircraft out and then we've got an hour trip <clears throat> over to Ibiza on board this little beauty let's give you a proper look at the aircraft nice little freebie by Kuro so shout out to Kuro just a modified version of the 787-10 obviously made a lot smaller to create the 787-8 there's our aircraft for today we've got somebody on the back of the aircraft too No idea who he is. <clears throat> so there you go. So the other thing I'm, I'm looking into as well is the potential for the uh, external power not to work. Um, <clears throat> Jack asking about whether the parking is pissed or not. No, it's not. You can see there, that is the parking spot. Absolutely fine. We should have an aircraft next to us there. Parking is definitely not pissed. Scenery from uh, from Madrid as well. Beautiful conditions. Sun's still out, of course. Um, so, without further ado, uh, let's get into the chat. Let's say hello to those that are here. Um, so, I know Carl Crawford is here. Nonstop Dom, good to see you as well. By the way, I also want to know who was doing the cha-cha slide. <laughs> who was doing the cha-cha slide there, please? Um, whilst that, that song was playing. Don't lie to me, because I know those who have done it. <laughs> if I know if you've done it, and if you have done it, let me know in the chat, because I was doing it. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, Max says he was doing it. Uh, Max didn't even know who DJ Casper was about two minutes ago, and now he's calling him a legend. So, <laughs> um, Foot tapping, says Carl Crawford. Great stuff. Um, all right, so Wayne Hartshorn, hello to you. Let's get the sound effects on. Here we go. Back streets, back, all right. Good to see you. <clears throat> Jack Rolls. What, how many times are we playing this this evening? Howdy, howdy. Uh, good to see you. Uh, who else we got? We have got Jim. You, sir, are a legend. Yes, you are. Good to see you. Loopy's in the house as well saying, evening, guys. David Bone also in there saying, good evening, everybody. Uh, and, of course, like I said, if you missed the beginning of the show, probably worth having a look straight after the video or the stream is done because there's a chance I will probably get copyright struck for it. But it's our little tribute to DJ Casper as we played the cha-cha slide <clears throat> as, a, as a tribute to him, at least. Um, may as well get out of the way. Because, of course, he is... If he's not breaking other people's streams, I don't know how he broke the build stream, but someone will let me know. 
Farm Show. SpongeBob Square Max in the chat, as always. Okay, right. So we've got the gateway connected already. Oh God. The gateway is connected already, which is good fun. Now here comes the next bit. Uh, oh, I need my uh, need my checklist here. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to answer the question because non-stop through Nabil stream, through the start of this stream, I've had Max non-stop fucking going on about the Sky A320 Neo flight that we did. Yes, I changed it. It's what people do when they want to do something a little bit different. They change it, and that's what I did. I changed it. The Sky Chili flight will come at some point, but I wanted to change it because I got the 787-8 working, and now I want to use it. Any problems with that, please, Max? Feel free to steal that flight if you wish. You've done the rest of them, so... Oh god, what have I done here? Oh. It appears I have pressed something and that has not worked. What the fuck did I press? Oh, we are too far. What's happened there? Oh god. Oh, I've pressed. Okay, so I've pressed. Okay, hang on. I have pressed something. I don't know what I've pressed. But it's fudged with the view there. Hang on. Keyboard. Camera. Wasn't that. Certainly wasn't that. IFR cockpit mode. Wasn't that. Or was it? Can't get one of those. Oh, it was. Oh, okay, cool. Fair enough. We're good. Okay. Welcome to anybody else that is currently joining the stream. I have in front of me checklist, which we're going to go off of. Um, and whilst we do that, we're going to request a catering. And like I said, if, if this goes. Is too small for your yes. If this goes as well as I think it will. We should get proper passengers boarding, which will take about half hour. Which is why I decided to start now. Catering vehicles are on their way. So catering trucks on the way. We're just busy at the moment. Fill the drinks trolley. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so the truck is on the way, you've just seen that, so I think we should be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and I learned the checklist last night, or wrote, wrote down the checklist I should say. Batteries on, please work. Yes! Okay. We do not have the, oh yes we do, there we go. Okay. My bad. Uh, we'll get the IRS switched on as well. Get the aircraft aligned. Get the APU started. Uh, nav lights can go on. Uh, the emergency ex. Uh, the emergency lights. Are already armed. Okay, so what we can also do is while we're here, this parking is too small for your aircraft. We're going to request boarding. Let's see how this works. Boarding requested. Okay, we are going to get real time. Okay, that's fine.
So, go down to the FMC, which is right here. Uh, our, um... Do you want to board crew? I'd love to. Let's just board the crew. crew boarding started. Don't need the pilots, because we're technically already on. Um, well, she Kev, good... Uh, good eve yeah good evening to you hope you're well um, our reference airport for today is Lima Echo Mike Delta so that's the uh, IRS done we'll get the route which is already in the system which is always good <coughs> flight number for today is Alpha Echo Alpha uh, 6025 uh, performance today we can just double click and these will automatically calculate themselves like that um, our cost index today or for tonight oh by the way totally forgot how rude of me let's say hello to our resident comment reader before we carry on let's say hello to our com uh, resident comment reader Emma Emma good evening Your crew has boarded. Good evening, Emma. Good evening, boys and girls. And you, Tom. Welcome along to tonight's stream. How's everyone doing? How are you, Tom? You've had today off work, haven't you? Certainly did. Yes, I did indeed have the uh, have the uh, the day off from work, and uh, very nice it was too. Well, seeing as you took a couple days not to stream, I've been managing to catch up on my things to do list. I have a name for my list. Do you know what it's called? Uh, you have a things... Uh, no, no, I'd go on, tell me. Boys on Tinder. Oh, for God's sake. Let's leave it there. Emma, just tell them the requirements today, please. Tonight, boys and girls, I'm keeping the minimum donation to £2, $2, or €2, Euro, or more, if you want to make me talk. I will say this until I am blue in my pixelated face, but the support you guys show for Tom and the team is truly appreciated by us all, even me. I can be nice at times, those times being when I'm not working with Tom. But I digress. Thank you in advance to those who show support tonight, and enjoy the stream, everyone. You can tell she's been away for a few days, can't you? <laughs> Although she didn't really need to tell me about her things, a list of things to do being called boys on Tinder, but thanks for that, Emma. Cheers. All right, so yeah, so two pounds, two euros, or two dollars or more is the requirements um, for tonight. Um, Dom says, "Do I do me and Emma? Uh, sorry, do you talk to her when you're not streaming? Yes, yes, I do. I talk to her when I'm not streaming. We have wonderful conversations with each other. Mostly her taking the piss, but that's about it. Uh, reserve fuel today. Where are we diverting to potentially in Barcelona? Barcelona, 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 Barcelona. Uh, we can probably get there on about three liters of uh, three thousand ton of fuel." Uh, Ender Pearl, good to see you in the chat one more time. Hope you're well. Remember your name from last time. Great to see you. Plenty, to, plenty of things to uh, speak to you guys about this evening. So let me just. What are we at today? We're at 30,000 feet for our cruise because it is a short flight tonight. I'd right, say so this is just more to kind of showcase the 787. It's been out for a while. Um and it's updated and stuff and I've only just managed to get it working so this is kind of a showcase showcase piece <coughs> so passengers are boarding we have got 200 and uh, 35 was that so this will take some time so there we have passengers you can just see starting to board the aeroplane yeah, 235 passengers on board. Uh, as we continue with the rest of the setup here. Thrust limb, we go to full takeoff for today. Uh, flats, will set them to 5 degrees, don't need too much. I'm going to go for a 145, 150 and 157 for our takeoff speeds. And our centre of gravity sorts itself out as well. Other than that, pre uh, the uh, pre-flight checklist for the FMC is complete, which is always good. Um, right, uh, now the legs are all in the system, so we're all good. The route is already done and calculated, which makes this so much easier. Sarah's here. Good to see you. 
Yep, that is the flight plan sorted. So we can go back to back to the overhead. Just continue to get the uh, aircraft sorted. Uh, just whilst the uh, the passengers are boarding, of course. Um, so the flight deck power, uh, sorry, door power goes on. Uh, window heats, which I believe are already on from when I was using it earlier today. I can't for the life of me find where that is. Where? Where the frig was that then? Let's get the sound on so you can hear the passengers boarding. Um, oh, window heat, yeah, they're already on. Um, we will get the passengers to get their seatbelts on, which is there. Um, anti ice. Auto. Uh, the aircon. Paxter on. Recirc on. Uh, MCP, so the flight management. Uh, this uh, this bit here we can sort out now. We've got a uh, Royal Air Maroc, Embraer 190 there as well. I've been playing around with the with the sim a little bit today and and adding some like real sounds to aircraft and things like that today. So the 777 Freighter and the LR now have the real sounds. The Embraer 170 and 175 now have the real sounds from Virtual Coal. Um, and what was it? Oh, the A320neo now has real sounds as well. Um, what was our climb out today? 6,000 feet. Not very much at all. Okay, so what we can also now do is we have to get this arrow into this green box. Uh, Gaming Wonders, hello. He says, hey Tom, did you hear... Uh, Max Alt F Ford Nabil. Yeah, I'm still waiting for someone to tell me what happened. <laughs> what what happened? So we're just setting the elevator trim. Which is all good. So that's in the green box, which is good. Back to the top. Uh, the hydraulic pump C1 and C2 go to auto. Uh, left and right electric go to auto as well. God, no, just the one. Thank you. Are you night stopping in Ibiza tonight? Time to whoop it up properly, I suspect. <laughs> Not quite. No, the only reason I started early was because I knew that I did. A, I was trying. To, I did a flight earlier, um, off line from Gatwick to Dubrovnik on the 2E787 and it took me a good hour for everything to be pre uh, prepped and loaded and stuff like that so I decided if we start early everything will be sorted right everything will be done because now with the beacon on ready to go uh, we are pretty much done or well, we have done as much as we can while the passengers are still being loaded baggage is going on as well let's get back to the uh, main sort of things are about to get loud There you go. So baggage is going on as uh, as we speak. Sarah says Rob turned grey, he certainly has. There goes another Air Europa 737.
the Ryanair god darn fucking bastard about to leave as well. Uh, Paul Hussey pointing out that this is Julio Iglesias on the uh, back of the plane. Uh, because, there you go, the name is, uh, the aircraft is named after him. Good stuff. <clears throat> there goes that noisy fucking bastard. <clears throat> okay, technically we can actually have the beacon off for the minute. Uh, beacon. My bad. Uh, beacon doesn't go on until we're ready for pushback, uh, because then the aircraft will know. Uh, sorry, people on the ground will know that the aircraft is about to be started up. David Bone says graphics are brilliant. Yeah, so we're on. Um, <laughs> since the uh, since the little fix that I've had, we're now able to run the sim on high graphics, which is fantastic. So we should get some lovely scenery today uh, as we head over to uh, Ibiza. <clears throat> so we are literally waiting now on these passengers to uh, to board the aircraft. 59 out of 235, so we're going to be here a while. So let me go through a few things that I need to go through with you guys so we've come to the decision today as well that with the football season or at least the Premier League back tomorrow um, we are looking to do the fantasy Premier League now I know there are some people that are supporters of football clubs some people who aren't so this is more for the uh, football supporters among you uh, if you are interested in joining our league, it hasn't been set up yet, but I'll get it done after the stream. If you're interested in setting yourself a, a, a team and going up against myself, Jack, and probably Steve as well, to see how well you know your football and see how many points you can get and things like that. It's basically run off the fact you picked pick 11 players, some subs, and then based on their real life performances, you get a number of points depending on the goals, red cards, yellow cards, clean sheets, etc. If you're interested in that, you will... Uh, let me know uh, once I've set it up I will then send you a link and we're going to name our teams after airlines to keep with the aviation theme so if you're interested in that let me know otherwise um, I'm off work again tomorrow so my weekend's already started um, but Saturday we are going to be doing the uh, rescheduled London City uh, to Shannon to New York flight we we'll are doing that on Saturday, um, and then Sunday we'll be doing the what should have happened on Saturday, which is the Copenhagen to Kangalusuak, Kangalusuak, uh, in Greenland on board the A330 Neo from Air Greenland. So that's that's what's to come, basically. Uh, Rob Brown, evening Tom, evening troops. Hope everyone is good. Yeah, it's very weird to see your name in grey now, but. Uh, <laughs> Good to see you. I uh, hope you are well. Just waiting on passengers. Kangaroo slack. I, I think Jim. Jim was the one that told me how to mention it, and hopefully I got it correct. I probably didn't. <laughs> Jim said, anyone see Tom landing the Turkmenistan? He threw about triple seven at Stan and said yesterday. You know it's a glitch. It's not. It's not me. You know it was a glitch. Flight radar obviously thought Turkmenistan still go into Heathrow from Ashgabat. Cumberland Goosewhack. <laughs> I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but it's close enough. So, all being well, and all being the fact that we can get the uh, 787 landed this evening in uh, in Ibiza, just a, like I said, just a short flight, just to kind of see how we get on with it um, on stream. It behaved well enough on uh... <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it behaves itself well off stream, so fingers crossed it should then behave itself on stream tonight. Fingers crossed. But if we do that, then uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll do some more flying in the 787. Got a, f a few flights lined up, including British Airways. We'll do some BA 787 flights. Got quite a few liveries for the 787. So how has your day been? And I think the more important question, and I think we knew this was going to happen, I also saw, did I see Bernice? Yes, I did. Bernice Thompson. Good to see you. I did see your name pop up. Uh, Nabil accidentally clicked Alt F4 when he was trying to click Alt F3, and we all blame Max. Sorry about my bad spelling. It's got a nice thing in my hand. It's kind of hard to type. Wow, so Nabil Alt f 4 his uh, stream. Oh, dude. Uh, Tom, have you played RFS before? Nope. Never played a mobile flight sim in my life. I don't plan on doing so either. So baggage is done. With the sun about to go down as well. Very clear skies here. So we are literally waiting. Jim says, hope someone wasn't awaiting its arrival yesterday at Heathrow. The su no, really? Jim, really? Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's, he, he went live for it. Please tell me he, he did not go live for it. Uh, Rob Brown says, is that one of the ex-Norwegian 787s? You can have a look at the reg. I'll give you the reg to have a look at. If you want to have a nosy. There is your reg for the aircraft. Echo Charlie, Mike India Hotel. That will give you a rough idea. Don't know offhand if it's one of the ex-Norwegian ones. Taxi, hold short runway tree. Six left by a taxiway. Echo Bravo, Mike Bravo, Zulu Air Portugal, 102. Just waiting for the passengers to board. We do have the Norwegian livery for the 787-8 as well, so we can do a little bit of a Scandinavian operation, which should be a lot of fun. Some nice long-haul routes as well, and some uh, domestic Australian routes as well, which is always quite nice. So plenty to play with with the 787-8. Uh, does work well. Has behaved itself from when I've used it, so uh, get some more liveries downloaded for it, and... Uh, yeah, get some nice little roots done. Lee Clark says the guy at the back is the guys who's yes, yeah. Yeah, so the guy, yeah, Julio Iglesias. Now, I know a certain streamer was live yesterday to, uh, I think it was at Heathrow or something, but please tell me, tell me that wasn't because of the, the 777. <laughs> please tell me that wasn't because of the 777. Uh, triple mod duties. Uh, Lewis and Chris. Doesn't look like Air Fleet shows it was delivered to Air Europa in 2016. Interesting. Maybe it was just a fresh new one then. <clears throat> Nabil and his viewers have just joined. So hello to everybody joining from... Nope, it wasn't. He's been live again on a Wednesday for a while. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Do you know what? Like he's a bigger, bigger tool than I anticipated. If he was waiting for that triple seven, 
Anyone with half a brain know that Turkmenistan moved their ops to Stansted. Uh, Nabil says hello. Gave you a little shout out at the beginning of the show. It was your turn to get a member sh members shout out. So uh, hope you enjoy that one. If you uh, if you rewatch, and of course if you are joining now and you missed the beginning and you're looking back through the comments, going, why is everyone talking about DJ Casper? We played the Cha Cha Slide for the intro song uh, this uh, this evening, and I will probably get copyright struck for it. So. <laughs> Most likely. I'm doing my best to try not to get struck for it, but uh, I think we may do. So we've got a lovely hour flight over to uh, Ibiza on the 787. Mute that section. Yeah, I will do. I'll mute it. If, if I get struck for it, I'll just I'll mute it. Such a banger, though. Um... Yes, so yeah, so an hour across to Ibiza, just to kind of test the 787 on stream so far, so good. About halfway through the passenger loading, this is why we started early, because now we've been on for about half an hour, and we've got 120 passengers boarded. Out of a hundred, uh, two hundred and thirty-five. Uh, Wayne says, "Be right back. N uh, need a drink and pop the bin out. No worries. You've got plenty of time before we depart here this evening." On board the beautiful. There she is. This is our aircraft for today. Julio Inglesius, Rolls Royce powered, seven eight seven dash eight. Top marks to Kuro for allowing getting this to happen. Seven eight seven dash eight. Lots of people have been clamouring for the dash nine, so I'm hoping that uh, Kuro can do the same and bring the dash nine out. Should be excellent if he could. Apparently the shortest 787 flight is Madrid to Barcelona, most likely that was going to be the original plan and then I realised that I kind of wanted to go a little bit longer, just about an hour or so, because I knew loading was going to take a while, considering the flight I did earlier today which was Gatwick to Dubrovnik, loading time for the aircraft and passengers and everything else took about an hour, because of the amount of passengers we have, so uh, yeah, we're just sitting and waiting for the rest of the passengers to get on board. Um, and then quite literally we can pop the beacon on and then give ourselves uh, an opportunity to push back. Loopy says YouTube is uh, really playing up tonight. Just been kicked. Uh, just been kicked and the quality keeps dropping to 144p. I don't know why YouTube is having such an issue at the moment. I've had that happen over the last God knows how long, like a month or so, trying to watch people's streams and or like just videos, and they just seem to drop in quality for literally no reason whatsoever. I feel like I could do a max here and welcome the passengers on board with a uh, with a safety announcement into the uh, into the TV remote. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. 
The lag hasn't fully sorted itself out, but it is running a lot better. These are high graphics. This is something I could never do before. So, uh, doing all right. Darren Smith, our current, or uh, yeah, our current uh, Quizness Jet champion, is here. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. Hmm. Paul Hussey uh, says uh, Dubrovnik is a nice airport to fly to. It really is. Yeah, it really is a nice little airport to go to, especially with the 787. May do that on stream uh, at one point or another. In fact, no, we probably will do because I did. Uh, it had been requested. Another one as well, just very quickly. Uh, if you are part of the Departure Lounge community channel, which is our Facebook group page, you will see uh, in the um, uh, featured posts thing, I think, at the top of the group, uh, there is... Uh, a, there is a flight request uh, post, should we say? So, if you have any requests for flights or whatever, it just seems to be the only option to, to do right now. If you have any options for or requests, I should say, for flights, um, you can pop those in there. There's a few in there that are doable. I think Darren Smith, one of Singapore to New York, Newark, uh, probably isn't doable. Uh, <laughs> it's not enough hours in the day for me to do that. Um, but yes, uh, if you have any flights that you might want me to do, or maybe to look at, then uh, have a nosy. Oh, yes. It, uh, yes, Darren, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? Um, um, while the passengers are boarding, while they're boarding, 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 hang on. We are going to talk about this, hang on. Because I could not believe with my own eyes when I saw this. No. Um. If you haven't seen it yet, you're probably going to want to. Here is the absolute monstrosity, which is the brand new, uh, as revealed today, the brand new spanking Air India livery. Now, I wrote a post on Twitter apologising to Condor for telling them they had the worst livery ever. Because I now think this has topped it. Anyone that thinks this is nice, have a word with yourself because this is shocking. This is honest. This is such a, a what's the term that you have? What's the term that you say when something is downgraded? Something nice goes to something crap. There's a word for it. I can't think what it is. But this is this is terrible. I mean, this is god awful. Yeah, David Bone shite, something like that. But yeah, there's a word for it. I can't think what it is. It's a slang word, something like... Oh, I can't think. I can't think what it is. It's dreadful. It's honest to God dreadful. I'm now a fan of Condor's livery, and it takes a lot for me to say that. just oh it's just horrific <laughs> Rob Brown says whoever designed this their mum should have swallowed I think we need a poll no goodness me this is I mean, it's 
is just awful. Like the the one before was like, you know, it had the rem like the remains of, um, like the remains of like class from the old livery and stuff. This is just. I'm looking at the the the, the current livery now, right? It's, it's so much better. This is just tacky. This is bad. I understand if people, some people might like it, but this is bad. This is dreadful. I don't know how anyone can like it, but if you do, then fair play. <laughs> Jim's having a, quite literally a word with himself. Oh, it's god awful. Get off my screen. So bad. Kev doesn't see anything wrong with it. Well, it's once it starts getting made for the flight sim, there's no way I'm I'm downloading it. Absolutely not. Not a chance. Okay, so we've got 183 passengers on board at the moment. This is why we started nice and early, because I knew we were going to be on the ground for a bit of time. So that, that is terrible, but let's just see that Air Europa livery again. Well, do you know what? At least, you know... At least it maintains, right? The logo, which is there, right? At least it maintains that logo and stuff. I know it's blue. I know it's a little bit different. Right? It's pl plain as anything, right? It's got colour to it. And it makes sense. The Air India one does not make sense. But for those joining, I'll repeat what I said a little bit earlier um, with the uh, Fantasy Premier League that we are going to be doing. We're going to be doing a, a departure lounge league shall we say on the fantasy premier league if you are a football fan and you want to take part and come up against myself jack and steve um let me know and once i've created the league and everything else obviously the premier league returns tomorrow um Yeah, if you uh, if you are a fan of like, you know, if, uh, if you're a football fan and you want to get involved, let me know and I'll send you a link when it's done. And the team name has to be um, part of uh, like an airline or something like that. So we're gonna name our name our teams after airlines. So yeah, so if you fancy that, let me know, and we'll get it set up immediately after the stream here. Like I said, I knew, I knew we'd be on the ground for quite some time, which is why I started a little bit early. Well, she kept, yep, 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 I get it, yep, 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 typey, typey, typey. Uh, David Bone, can we have <laughs> can we have Man Milk United? If you want Man Milk United, go for it. Just want to know who who will join, and then we can uh, get an idea then for numbers and everything else. Okay, thirty five passengers remaining, and then we can start pushing back. Can't join sadly due to parents. It's a football app. It's not a betting app. Carl says he will join for a laugh. Good stuff. Fairly straightforward. You pick a, a team of eleven Premier League players, and you've got to base it on who will you who you think will get the most points on that match day. You get three subs, I think, uh, for each match day, so you can change the team up a little bit uh, as well. If you've played it before, you know exactly what it, how it works. 
Uh, Gaming Wonders, Tom, can I have my team called United United? You can, because technically it counts. If you're not following the Facebook page or anything else like that, I will put the info as a uh, community chat. Uh, sorry, community. Um, post on YouTube as well, so you can keep an eye out for that too. MKLM Dons. <laughs> like it, very good. got to think of a team name now you, you don't have to necessarily use it as like a tongue-in-cheek like everyone else seems to be doing at the moment you can literally just pick an airline and just go with it like I said we're just use, trying to get as many numbers as we can Big Harry Balsack and Walloper United it's not quite the same <laughs> it's not quite there it's not quite the same Close enough, but not quite the same. Electric Box FC says Max. I suspect Emirates versus Etihad would go to penalties. <laughs> I like the fact that people are putting the like airlines next to like football team names and I literally was like you you just just pick an airline that's it just pick an airline but yeah people are uh going for the tongue in cheek style I suppose it's fair enough. Should nearly be done boarding now. Yeah, 13 passengers remaining, then we can begin our pushback. This is, again, why we started a little bit early. We've been on the ground for nearly an hour, which is... Uh, what I expected, that's why I decided to go a little bit early, especially for the hour-long flight. It's only 248 nautical miles to our destination this evening, but, like I said, just showcases the 787-8 uh, to its fullest. Well, she cares. Says playing footy and kicking a ball through a greenhouse are two different things, Max. I think we have one or two passengers remaining. Max says, be right back, just doing a flight. Okay, now I'm interested. Let me know what one you're doing, please. Air Spud Hotspur, uh, not quite the same, Jack. Surprised you didn't go for anything Fairford related. <laughs> Riyadh FC, yeah. Surprised you didn't go for that. React 2023 United. There you go, there's team names for Jack already.
Okay, so. I think. Can't see any more passengers. I think we're done. We are indeed. There's the bong. Sporting Riyadh. Rob Brown with one punch on FC. <laughs> okay, so we can get the jetway away from us. There it goes. We've got a FedEx 767 next to us. Oh, let's get it. This parking is too small for your aircraft. Barajas Ground Europa 6025 requesting pushback. Get pushback. Uh, Europa 6025 pushback request accepted. Taxiing hold short runway tree 6 left by a taxiway Delta Romeo Alpha Zulu. Back tug. It's taking out the front wheel. Okay, let's uh, look at. I think we're going off of the left. I would say. Did I mess that up? Oh no, I got it right. We're all good. It's alright, we're good. Okay. Okay. So on the push, we've got the uh, fuel. Uh, fuel pumps are on, so we can start engine two. Let's go for Spanish. Or Madrid sunset. I've also just seen it. It's off to bed for you. Barajas ground Europa 6025 requesting the end of pushback. Europa 6025 request to end pushback received. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll also go for engine one. Now we can go for beacon. We'll go wing. Uh, wing and logo lights can go on. Pushback should be complete shortly. Yep. Hot pit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can indeed. disconnect. Barajas ground Europa 6025 with Sierra ready to taxi IFR. Uh, give me one that says you got GSX. I do indeed. Yeah, it must, it must be about a week or so now I've had this and uh, it really adds something different to the flight set. Can't believe I didn't buy it any sooner. Yeah, big fan, big fan of it. Taxiing hold short runway treat 6 left using taxiway November Echo Alpha Golf November Golf Bravo Zulu Europa 6025. So we won't turn the taxi lights on just yet, we'll wait for confirmation. So engines are good. I'm pressing Alt instead. Not bad. Uh, right. A for you. Off. Uh, we can go for the transponder now, so we don't forget. T A R A. We'll just wait for confirmation that we're good to go. There we go. Have a good trip, which you won't see because we've got the bar above us, uh, which means we can now get all the lights, taxi, uh, taxi lights on at least. Parking brake off. Window heat on as well, and uh, let's begin our taxi. So we should have a beautiful departure out of Madrid. Thirty thousand feet. A bit of lag. It's fine. It's only a little bit. Not too long a taxi. Flaps to five degrees. What are my specs? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. I will have to uh, have a look. 32 gig of RAM. About the standard graphics card, which is what I need. Some parts lag, some parts don't. But it's not horrific. It's not as horrific as it was before. I say once we get out of Madrid, it'll be fine. There is a company seven three seven just there. 
it looks like we're going to beat that to Barajas Tower Europa 6025 ready for departure runway 36 left IFR to Ibiza Here we go. Cleared for takeoff runway tree, six left Europa, six zero two five. Come on, sort yourself out. You know you want to. Okay. Park for a second. Let's just make sure we've got everything we need. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna shush. I think the sound is on. Yes, it is. I'm just gonna turn it up so you can listen to this uh, 787 depart out of Madrid. Here we go. Barajas Tower, Iberia Tree, 41 Tree, 1 1 mile southeast, inbound ILS Whiskey Runway Tree, 2 right approach. Iberia Tree, 41 Tree, Barajas Tower. Altimeter tree zero, decimal one two wind tree two zero at one zero. Cleared ILS whiskey runway tree two right approach. Europa four zero six zero exit runway when able. Cleared ILS whiskey runway tree two right approach Iberia tree four one tree. Flies like a dream, the 787. We'll get the fixed camera ready. Which will be that for our short Climb and maintain flight level Go back to the cockpit. Bring that last flap up. We'll raise it to 250. Come out full screen. Europa 6025 climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Climb and maintain 13,000 feet, Europa 6025. Europa 1506, contact Madrid, approach on 130.8. Beautiful stuff. Let me get that ATC turned down. Because we don't want to hear that. Good day. There we go. Europa 7 
Good stuff. How was that then? Nice takeoff out of Madrid as we head over to um, Ibiza. Have a look at that turn from the outside. Going to one three zero decimal eight Europa one five zero six. Beautiful. Oh wow, yes. Absolutely stunning. I'll come to the comments in a second. Make the right hand turn heading towards Ibiza. All right, let's have a look and see what I have missed uh, comments wise. Uh, Nabil giving off the uh, specs. He knows it more than I do. It's not, yes, yeah, 32 gig RAM, uh, 4 gig for the uh, uh, thingy. But I do need to, um, yeah, do need to get an upgrade, which I've ordered at some stage. <laughs> Uh, Rob Brown says, and we are off Venga Boy style, off to Ibiza, or is it to eat pizza? Not effing pineapple, though. Lewis from London Place Point says, evening, Tom and chat. cool is that? In fact, let me just, because uh, we are going to have to up the speed here, just bear with me. Now. back to the cockpit just while we continue to climb to 30,000 feet today. And whilst we do that, let's get some tunes. Paul Hussey with the flight request. Yeah, that can be done. Very good. Yeah, very good.
Uh, Gail is here, good to see you. Just as a quick test on this uh, this aircraft, zero six, I believe, is what we're going in on. Heathrow a lot better. I've been dreaming of an opportunity to get Heathrow to work smoothly Climb and, maintain flight and level three, eight, zero, it does. It runs beautifully which is what I've been dying to have since probably Flight Sim 2004 for a smooth Heathrow. I ran a very quick test from like London City 27 to Heathrow 27 with everything on and everything else and uh, and yeah, I can land at Heathrow without an issue. Uh, I did it yesterday or last night as a quick run as well from uh, from Zagreb, I think Zagreb to Heathrow on a Croatia A319, and it just it yeah did, did what you needed to. So I was like, oh, good stuff. Which now opens up a bit more. There's a few a few more airports I need to test, um, but it's running a lot better than it has been. So yeah, positive. Positive. I did Gatwick to Dubrovnik this afternoon to test this 787-8 um, and it was absolutely brilliant so yeah very very happy very very happy okay we're not quite at cruise yet but here's the other side of the time the wing view.
Uh, Lewis says Heathrow to Larnaca on the HV10 Cypress Aries. If you want to see it, pop onto the Departure Lounge community channel and uh, get it suggested. And if I can find a livery that will suit it, because that has actually been one I've been after. And I'm not entirely sure there is one. Let me have a look. I think there may be the old version. It's like the very old, old version, like the Boeing 720s. Sorry, 7, 720s used to have. Cypress Airways. Um, so we've got some of the newer ones on the 320 Neo, the Phoenix 320. I'm looking to try that out again as well, which will allow me to do the new Cypress livery. Oh so yeah, in terms of actual, like... Tree, yeah, Cypress Airways, like the old style Cypress Airways, there isn't any. Which is annoying. Because I want the 310 in Cypress Airways, but... I don't have that yet. Climb and maintain Okay, so we're just waiting for our clearance to 30,000 if we go back to the windy. <coughs> there it is. See the wing flexing. Yeah, it is quite annoying that uh, there is no. It's got the, the the newer sort of toothpaste minty one that we have, and uh, sort of the, the one with the blue. <laughs> um. The one with the blue, blue tail and blue engine, but other than that, there isn't really others unless people have like requested it. I'll keep my eye open for it though, there's definitely plans to do that. Uh, non stop Dom says beautiful sunset and the bump in graphics. Yeah, we are running things on high graphics, ladies and gentlemen. So there will be one or two stutters here and there, which is absolutely fine, it's not an issue, it's not as bad as it has been, but it just makes everything look so much better. So much better. Uh, Tom, just a quick one. Do you have the American Chrome livery for the A320 Neo? I have it. It looks nice on mine. So, uh, I probably do, but I don't tend to use it because American don't have 320 Neos. <laughs> so, I've got it on the 737. That's all I need. <clears throat> Time to up the GPU. That's... Yeah, so, I mean, the graphics card definitely needs an upgrade. Ultra is where I want to be, right? Ultra settings. They gave everything to look fantastic. That's where I need to be. Unfortunately, I've got to find money for, <laughs> find money for it in order to get, like, a really decent upgrade and everything else. So, it'll all come in time, but we'll work with what we've got. That's the main thing. Just work with what we've got. Ship only using 2-4 for departures this evening. Uh, got the window open and enjoy the departures from my room whilst watching Tom's stream. Lucky, lucky boy. Uh, Max says, Tom, I've looked online to see how I can fix the lag on the Xbox. I need to unplug and then throw it out the window. Oh no, that's not what it says. I need to delete some of the free up space. I need to... Tom, I've looked online to see how I can fix the lag on my Xbox. I need to delete some of the free up space. Then O needs to check the monitor. Hmm. I don't know if the monitor has anything to do with the lag. I might be wrong. I don't think it does. What you have to understand, Max, is the Xbox version of Microsoft Flight Simulator is not as powerful. As the PC version, so it's a very dumbed down version of the PC. The PC you get the ultra graphics, you get everything looking as, as terrific as it does. You know, 
like, for example, that. You ain't getting this in the Xbox. You're also not getting the 787-8 in the Xbox. It is basically there to be a console game that people can just jump on and just do bits and bobs of. Like, the PC version is for those that are like the hardcore sinners sort of thing, you know, where everything, so all the regional airports, international airports, are all good, like, you can download all sorts and stuff like that. <laughs> so, you know, who's on the air? Right through, go right through the engine. Yeah, look, right through the engine, fan blades. Oh, stop, stop you. Pretty sure those wing lights are supposed to come off, but I'm going to leave them on. But also listen to how quiet the 787 is as well. That is the wing light, I believe. Yeah, as you can see, landing lights are off. What I have is the wing lights. So if I turn that off, it's not there. Very interesting. I thought that was the wing light. I have no idea what that is. If I turn the wing, yeah, that's the. Maybe it's the went on the taxi lights, maybe. Yeah, the taxi lights. Yeah, it's taxi lights, of course it is. Turn those off now for a minute. There you go. Now it's in pitch black. You can thank Lewis for that. I wanted to keep them on, but no. Yeah, I wanted to keep them on, but no. Lewis said, turn them off. Cool, getting a good number of likes on the screenshots on Volanta, which is great to see. Don't blame me, I've already been roasted by my moss today, whilst being attacked by wasps. Well, fuck it, I'm just going to add to it, because you told me to turn the wing lights off. People were enjoying the wing light view, now you, now you told me to turn off. I hope, you, I hope you're proud of yourself. Did you see pictures? Uh, did you see pictures of the Lego Concorde, 170 pound and just over a meter long? I have seen pictures of this, and I don't have the patience for it. Barcelona Center, Europa 6025 flight level three zero zero. Do not have the patience for it. Okay, 14 minutes to go. 126 nautical miles remaining. Just in case you're, you've joined late and you're not quite sure, here's Emma again with the details. Tonight, boys and girls, I'm keeping the minimum donation to £2, $2, or €2, Euro, or more, if you want to make me talk. I will say this until I am blue in my pixelated face, but the support you guys show for Tom and the team is truly appreciated by us all, even me. I can be nice at times, those times being when I'm not working with Tom, but I digress. Thank you in advance to those who show support tonight, and enjoy the stream everyone.
I forget she likes to roast me every opportunity she gets, but uh, those were the requirements. Uh, Loopy doesn't have room. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, one, don't have the patience to build a Lego Concorde. Two, I'll end up smashing it anyway because I'm clumsy like that. And three, nowhere to put it. Nowhere to put it. Uh, Lewis says, Tom, I think Emma is starting to steal your show. I think that's what she's been trying to do. Yes. She's a bit of a feisty bitch, is Emma. But... I'd say we bounce off each other, but the amount of men she's been bouncing off of, I don't think we really want to be doing that. So... Let's turn the uh, desktop audio back down again. just jealous of Emma, that's all. I'm not jealous of Emma. She can bounce on as many men as she likes. So next time we are back with uh, a flight sim stream is Saturday. It is uh, London City to Shannon to New York. The flight that we should have done I want to say Monday before the PC died. <clears throat> uh, somebody asked, um, forgive me as I know it went past. Paul Hussey says, Is there a podcast this Sunday? There is indeed. So me and Wayne are doing a model mania. We'll be focusing on NG models. Lots of, uh, lots of good stuff has come out of NG models over the last few uh, in a few weeks or so, including some new moulds. We'll be showing those off uh, as well. And of course, our landing into e uh, Ibiza, Eat Pizza, Ibiza, Ibiza, however you want to pronounce it, uh, only has one thing on our minds. My spaghetti senses tell me this is going to get fucking tasty, baby! Oh, yes, first time landing the 787-8. It's about to get tasty. Uh, Lewis says Wayne's in that. See, I'll give that one a miss, Tom. It ain't you. Uh, Lewis, if I could give it a miss too, I would. But unfortunately, I host it. So. <laughs> so I can't. I've got to be there, sadly. Sorry, Wayne. Oh! Welcome to my world. Yeah, he's only modding for you. Yeah, he has to do a show with me. Um, Max says, I wish I had the Kuro 787-8 uh, on the Xbox. Uh, if it was on Xbox for free, then I would have loved it, but prefer to use 787-10. You will never see the Kuro 787 on the uh, on the Xbox. You will never see it. It just it won't happen. Emma Royd, Emma Royd, F and Emma prohibited, 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 smiling face prohibited. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sarah popping up with the two euro super chat. Appreciate it. I feel like this has been like a, a, a thing that Sarah just enjoys a lot of. <laughs> Sarah fully enjoys the text-to-speech uh, thing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Jack mentioned it. Uh, 
I need to try all the emojis as Sarah. Oh, she'll read them. Yeah, 100% she'll read them out. Okay, so we are leaving mainland Spain. Ether not too far ahead of us. Tail of the 787 shining there. Beautiful, beautiful plane, beautiful flight. Not bad for a little test run on stream with the 787-8. Doesn't matter what capacity Jack mentioned it. He still mentioned it. Uh, Jack says, Tom, I'm in shock. I never thought I'd hit 200 this year, let alone half the year gone. Like I've said to you, you've got your target number. Go and uh, go and exceed it. That's what you need. That's what you need to do. Uh, Max says, Tom, can I just say a massive thank you? Uh, <laughs> Tom, can I say a massive thank you every much indeed, mate, for the grey streams so far. Cheers, bud. Um, 200 what? Uh, so, Dom, Max, uh, sorry, Max, uh, Jack, that's twice now, Nabil done it, and now me. Um, Jack has hit 200 subs on... Um, YouTube, which is a big thing for him. Onwards and upwards. Okay, should be getting some uh, descent clearance shortly. darkness however that there is Ibiza there is our descent so we are already descending uh, down into e pizza so this one was going to be a short flight because we wanted to test this to make sure that it works absolutely fine so far so good I would comfortably say Use that speed brake just to help slow the aircraft down. Is that it? Like it was going to be a short one. That's the idea behind it because we were on the ground for an hour anyway. We've been on now for about an hour or forty minutes, so roughly about two hours tonight for the stream. But back on Saturday for a longer stream. I might throw a bonus one in tomorrow, possibly, possibly, see how I feel. Uh, <clears throat> I need to thank you for what you've done for me Tom, you helped me, says Jack. Uh, I can't take all the credit when you helped with the watermark and the other thing. What's the other thing? What, what you on about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Oh, the intro, yeah. It's fine. Just gotta bump it up a little bit more now. Take it to the next step. <laughs> Sarah says the other thing. Hmm, secretive. What do you do at Riyadh? 
Don't tell her, Jack. She'll be very jealous. So yeah, so a nice short stream. I may do one tomorrow. Let me just look at the scheduling for things. Hang on. Oh, they're fine. Looks like Saturday. Totally forgot there are other things happening tomorrow. Would not be fair of me. So the sun's still setting. The island of Ibiza is in front of us as we continue our descent. Jack's on about football, ladies and gentlemen. He's been on the E numbers. I'll read him out anyway. Uh, he says, uh, well, looks like we've got on three main targets, West Ham. Uh, I can't count Maguire as a main. Uh, I'm hoping after his time at Man United, maybe he will come good. He's still shit regardless. So yeah, so tomorrow... May not be able to chuck a extra stream in, but um, Saturday for sure. Long haul. City to Shannon to New York. British Airways. A three eighteen. Should be a fun one. Uh, what time the stream on Saturday? So it will go into the evening again. So I am thinking possibly either. One or two o'clock start. I would say. Most likely about half past one, I would say. The first flight over to Shannon is about 50 minutes. So if we start at half past one, get loaded by two, head on over to there by three. Uh, so, actually, maybe, no, one, one o'clock, maybe? One o'clock. Load up, half past one, 50 minutes, about half past two, seven, nine. Yeah, so about about one o'clock, I would say we'll start. So we've got to get over to Shannon, off offload, load back in, and then yeah, we should be over by into New York by about ten o'clock, half past ten in the evening. Should be a nice little, uh, should be a nice fun flight to do there. All right, seven thousand feet as we uh, continue with the descent. Take the speed down to about 210. Just slow the aircraft up. So 
So can we see? We scoot on over. Isn't quite graphically loaded in yet. The airport's around somewhere. Because there are planes going in. I guess it's a stair. Can't think where else it would be. Sarah says follow them follow them likes. This is why we need Sarah on the flight sim so she can also join we do a joint flight with uh, with Sarah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Where are we going? Oh just follow those likes. Just follow that road. You mean the runway, yeah, just follow that road. Yeah, I'd say so Carl, yeah, I'd say about one o'clock. Five mile taxiway, you love it, Sarah. You love a nice long taxi. So, 15 nautical miles out as we continue our descent. We're going to get the landing lights on already. Get those taxi lights turned on. Ready. Are we going to descend in time? That's the thing. ATC does seem to get it horribly wrong. <coughs> yes, yes, we already asked him to do that. It might be alright. First batch of. Uh, to go in. There, I think it's there. There it is. That's the runway there. Yeah, there it is. I got it. Follow dem lights. We are literally in the pitch black now. Okay, time to get the FPM ratings in for the first flight of the 787. Uh, I will put the landing cam, oh sorry, landing cam, I will put the uh, recording on for this and then we'll just put this, the, the time back so we get to see the, uh, get to see the landing. But yeah, get your ratings in. Uh, we are going to press the record button and get it started now. We're going to get that music off. And hopefully deliver a little bit of butter in the 787-8. Never been known to land a 787 well. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so... Uh, Max says 164, David Bone with a minus 95, Sarah 352, Gail 105, Carl 120, Caitlin 175, 
No number, just thwack, followed by Rage, says non-stop Dom. Lewis with a 220. Rules are, if it's over 200, it is technically classed, at least for us on the channel, as a hard landing. Loopy says one four eight. Palma approach Europa six zero two five is at three thousand eight hundred feet, descending three thousand feet. Europa six zero two five Palma approach altimeter three zero decimal zero. Gonna bring that speed right down now because we're on our final approach. There is our runway. We will want approach mode on. Just see if that works. Auto brake, we'll go for uh, setting three. Hopefully, the aircraft picks it up. Jim says, Are we currently approaching the right airport? We are indeed. There is your runway. Right there. Go for gears down. Hoping that nose drops. I don't know why I keep saying it. It's obviously a bug in the ATC, I think. Okay, nose is dropping, which is ideal. So the aircraft is now picking up the glide slope.
remember the recording is on. <coughs> we will be watching that after the flight has finished. We'll take the time back as well so we can see it in the daytime. So the airport is getting closer, we're going to focus on the landing, so enjoy what should hopefully be a bit of a buttery landing, fingers crossed. The auto brake is armed. It disconnect in a sec. Aircraft is ours, including the throttle. Okay, interesting. Actually went, well, it floated a lot better than I thought, actually. I was expecting it to drop out of the sky. That it did not. I think it could have been a lot worse. <coughs> so, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We've got no suitable parking, apparently. All the gates look like they're full. Lots of places apparently are too small. The chosen that. position is too small for your aircraft. Shut up. It's never too small. Alright, let's have a look. <coughs> I'm going nosy. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Clearly, a little bit of practice needed. It's fine. It's fine. We can play it. for flying Ryanair. Last year, over 90% of our flights arrived on time. We hope you enjoyed yours, and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Ryanair. Low fares, made simple. Afraid so. I didn't think it was too bad. According to Volanta though, Volanta said it was quite terrible. Clearly, and I think it's, it's clearly evident this is the first proper time that I've done this on stream with the uh, 787-8. I didn't think it was too bad. Going to 118 decimal flight, Europa 6025. Um, definitely needs some more practice, which is fine. The approach was fine. I think it's just, a, it's, 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 it's navigating that speed. Oh, here's a follow me car. They're going to take us to our parking spot, which is great. When you're ready. <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll park up. I'm going to leave everything on.
But welcome to Ibiza on the first flight on stream of the 787-8. I thought that went quite well. Landing maybe not so much. But there's plenty of practice there. Because I expected it to drop out of the sky like it normally does. Um, which obviously it did not do. Um, very quickly, let me just bring it up on screen for you guys. Oh, actually no, let's not do it. Um, I'll show you it in a second, because we're, we're not too far off. <coughs> well, Kev says the follow me car was like Jack on the E numbers. So what do we think then, ladies and gentlemen? If you've uh, if you've got the flight sim and you've flown the 787-8 before, what are your thoughts? If you haven't, oh, hello, Ryanair. God darn fucking bastard! Right, let's go through Ryanair. Get out of it, you god darn fucking bastard! <coughs> yep, sorry, sorry, just ploughed Ryanair. Plow it, plow it, plow it. God darn fucking bastard. Shouldn't be in the god darn fucking way. Okay, so if you remember on the thing, there was an A Hamburg plane. That is that one. Where is the follow me car going? What is happening? Let's request another spot. I do not like that. Okay, yeah, let's let's pick a let's pick another spot. There's no gates. Oh, there is a gate. The chosen position is too small for your aircraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what it does is it hasn't quite worked out that the in-game ribbon isn't quite the same. I don't really know what's happening with Jet 2 or EasyJet. I'll just squeeze it here. I don't know what's happening with these two. I'm just waiting for this 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 uh Follow me car, which is supposed to be with us, but isn't. Let's just, uh, okay, tell you what, let's provoke the follow me car, yes. Marshall has been dispatched on site. Is it there? It is, okay, it looks like it's there. So I think we're good. There's our air stairs. Think we're good. 
Yeah, I saw I saw it's under the jet too. I think we got our got our gate here. Just keep an eye on the marshallers. There he is. Great job, dude. Still, t how much more left do you want us to go? We're not even really on the spot, but we'll go for it. Okay. So, let's complete the flight. Let's review the flight. Let's bring it up on the screen. So here's what it was. So Madrid to Ibiza. There was your landing rate. Thank you for flying Ryanair. Last year, over 90% of our flights arrived on time. We hope you enjoyed yours, and we look forward to mm -hmm. welcoming you on board again soon. Ryanair. Low fares, made simple. <clears throat> yeah, just a little bit. Um, a little bit on the rough side, but it's it's the first landing in the 787. I don't do well when it comes to 787s um, and landing them. So there's a lot of practice to be needed uh, for that. Let's pause the re recording. The bloke's still pissed. He still thinks we're supposed to be turning left. Okay. So the flight is complete. We are done. That's now in the book. Good little flight. Despite the landing. Um, yes, yeah, Sarah being nice is never a, never a thing. Let's um, let's get the weather. Uh, the let's get it to daytime. And here we go. So I take myself and that off screen. Let's get the landing. Let's go a little bit further. Twenty five hundred. Let us go from here. Like I said, some practice needs to be done with the 787. But here was the landing. Gonna mute my mic and uh, you guys can enjoy.
Kev, the mic might be muted, but I can still read the fucking chat. Just before we touch down, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for joining uh, this evening. Next time we're back live is on Saturday for the uh, London City to Shannon to New York flight. Thank you so much for your support this evening. Enjoy the landing, and I will see you then.